Welcome back to Kids Planning. I'm Peyton. And I'm Jared. And today we're going to teach you how to play Cooked Cats. Cooked Cats is a fun, family friendly deduction game for two to four players from Haba, where you use clues to try to unmask other players before they unmask you. In the game, there is invitation reference cards, card holder fans, masks, feature cards, and cat cards. Each cat card has a cat with three to four distinct features. The possible features include their pose, coat color, coat pattern, and accessories. So this cat has a top hat, green coat, stripes, and it's sitting in this fancy pose. To set up the game, show for as many invitations as there are people playing, and make sure that the invitation with the first player seal is included. Then give each player an invitation. Whoever has the invitation with the stamp on it goes first. Give each player a fan and matching color masks. Then shuffle the feature cards and give three to each player face down. You can put the rest of the feature cards back in the box. Now, everyone should put their feature cards in their fan without letting anybody else see them. We're letting you see them for the video, but when you play, you want to keep them secret. These are your features that the other players will be trying to figure out. You might receive multiple cards from the same type of feature. Your cat might be striped and spotted or green and blue. That's okay, it just makes your cat unique. Next, shuffle the cat cards. Deal three to each player. Then place the rest in the middle of the table to create the draw pile. The player with the first player still goes first. During your turn, you will do four things. Play a cat card, reveal masks, guess a feature, if you want to, and draw a new card. Then play continues clockwise around the table. To play a cat card, put one card from your hand face up in the middle of the table. Then everyone looks at the card. If the card played has any features matching the features in your fan, put one of your masks on the card. All other players do the same. This cat has stripes, and one of my features is stripes, so I put a mask on this card. No matter how many features match, you only put one mask. Remember, the goal is to avoid having other players guess your features, so you probably want to play cards that don't match any of your features, if you can. Next, you have the option to guess one feature from one other player. How do you know what their features are? As more and more cards get played, you have to pay attention to the masks that the players play. Jude put a mask on this blue cat, but he didn't put a mask on this blue cat, so I know his attribute isn't blue. But I did put a mask on these two cards, and the only thing they have in common is a top hat. So Jared has to have a top hat. If you guess the feature correctly, the player reveals that card and puts it face up on the table where everyone can see it. And as the correct guesser, you get one mask from that player. So since I guess that Jared has a top hat, he takes that card and puts it face up on the table and then gives me one mask. If you guess wrong, then you have to give that player one of your masks. Any masks that you win have to be kept visible, but separate from your own masks. Even after you've revealed one of your features, in future rounds you should keep placing masks for that feature. Next, draw a new cat card and add it to your hand. Then it's next player's turn. End of the game is triggered when one player has had all three of their features revealed. Once this happens, play continues until the current round is finished, meaning it gets back around to the person with the first player card. This is so everyone gets the same number of turns, but once the end has been triggered, the remaining players can only guess a feature. No more cat cards are played and no new masks are revealed. Now it's time to count your points. Each unrevealed feature is worth one point and each opponent's mask that you receive is worth one point. I have one attribute left and three masks from Jared, so I have four points. I don't have any attributes left and I got two masks from Peyton, so I only have two points. Whoever has the highest score at the end of the game wins. And that's Cloak Cats. If you have any questions or if you have a game you want to teach, leave us a comment. Thanks for watching. And be sure to subscribe right here. And watch our other videos over here. See you later. Bye. Bye.